Hello, hi everyone, what's up? It's me, Karen, your favorite booktuber, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I've not done this for either of the years that I've been on YouTube. I think this is my third year, and holiday season is upon us, and I thought I would put together a bookish gift guide. Now, if you don't know, if you don't follow me on IG, if you're not part of the newsletter, by the way, I have a newsletter, link in bio to self, I'd really appreciate it. I put together a bookish gift guide for Paloma Magazine, which includes 12 books, um, organized by the astro signs. Now what I'm going to do today is kind of similar but also slightly different. I put together a list of books that I want. I personally want these books from NYRB and I was going to buy them because just around Thanksgiving they were doing their sale and it was like if you buy more than four books it's 40% off and I went ham in the cart but I didn't end up buying any of these books. So I decided that I would take those books, there was exactly 12 of them, and I organized them by the zodiac once again because why not it's fun let's do that and i decided i would film a video and share my picks with you guys just because if you've ever spent any time on the nyrb website it's really overwhelming they have so many books and so many pages and it's like an endless scroll and you need someone to vet some of these books now as i say that i do need to put a warning i've not read any of these books but these are on my mental tbr that you know if there was a sale or if I was at the bookstore, if I wanted to make a little purchase, I would probably buy these, but I've not done that yet. So anyways, without further ado, this is what we're going to do. The astrology sign, the book I picked, a brief little summary. If you are interested, if you want to see another one of these, let me know. I would love to do like my stocking stuffer suggestions all from the essence sale. I think the sale is still going on. It's now at 60%. If that is of interest, let me know and I'll put that together sooner rather than later because I know Christmas it's just around the corner for those of you who partake in that. I don't really partake in that. I just find the thought of putting together a gift guide really fun. Okay, <laughs> with all that preamble, we're going to kick this off, first of all, with Aries. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. It's a fire sign known for being a self-starter and getting things moving and grooving. So the book that I chose is Boys Alive by Pasolini. This was his first work of fiction and it is also his best known. It's not really, from what I know, a very linear plot. It's kind of a composition of little stories that show you the lives of it is young people in the city who have nothing but their youth to capitalize on and so these boys are looting hustling scavenging i kind of imagine this as a bit of the male version of marlo granado's happy hours that's what I think this is like. The next sign in the zodiac is Taurus. Taurus is an earth sign. For me, this is also a sign that's very much so as it is ruled by Venus. It kind of has an interest in the body. It's very sensual, down to earth, chill. And the book that I chose was The Limit by Rosalind Belden. This is an interesting book from what I can tell. I mean, they all are, right? Because I picked them. So this book is about uh, a marriage. A lot of these books do also happen to talk about marriage because that is that has been an interest in my reading but in particular this book is about Anna an English woman who is married to an Italian sailor and she is bedridden about to die and she is reminiscing on the last 10 years of their life and their relationship and as the novel progresses she becomes more childlike it's about their relationship and also the limits of devotion okay the next book it is for my gemini's gemini's are a very gregarious quick thinking sign and so i picked the kindness of strangers by selka bertel this book it is not fiction it is a memoir our author was an actress and screenwriter and this is kind of her recollections on showbiz taking her from europe to hollywood and the various characters and personalities she comes across in 20th century showbiz. <laughs> Next up on our docket we have Cancers. Cancers is an interesting sign because it is the crab but also it is the mother of the zodiac and for this book, for this pick, I chose the book Little Reunions by Eileen Chang. Now this is the first time this novel has been translated into English and it tells the story of our protagonist, Julie, who is a very privileged young girl in Hong Kong. We are on the eve of the Japanese invasion. That's when the novel begins. And she has, from what I can tell, a very tumultuous relationship with her mother. Her mother is single, really ready to mingle, going around the world, I think the world, or the country, looking for her next paramour. And then once Julie returns back to Shanghai, she falls in love with a trader who is quite charismatic and gregarious, which is also, you know, wonderful Gemini qualities. And they have a very 
interesting relationship. It's equal parts passion and uh, anxiety. And so in this relationship, you kind of see how her relationship with her mother is mirrored. And that is why I chose this book because Cancer is a sign of the mother. And I feel like there's some interesting mother energy coming from this book. After Cancer, we have Leo. Leos are a fire sign and like to be the center of attention. But I know that sometimes when people are talking about astrology, people can be like, oh, but I'm not really like my sun sign. Totally fine. You have more than your sun sign going on in your astrological chart and the different ways that the zodiac can manifest in you are profound and more than once. So these are just generalizations. Don't take them to heart if you are like, I'm a Leo and I'm not an attention hog. There might be other ways that you embody Leo energy. Maybe you're really brave or, you know, like shiny things, <laughs> you know, anything is possible. So this book that I picked is Image and Shadows, Part of a Life by Iris Origo. This is once again, oh, the sun is moving. And this is once again a memoir. So our protagonist was an author and she is the daughter of a really rich American and an Irish woman who is from a working class family. And while she was really young, her father passed away and then her mother relocated, relocated them to Italy. And Iris had a really privileged upbringing. She was really connected to the arts. And this is a look at her life, the books that formed her, her relationship to reading and writing. And I think it sounds like a really good read from a very interesting woman who I otherwise had not heard of. After Leo, we have my sun sign, Virgo. For this pick, I chose Other Men's Daughters by Richard Stern. This has been on my TBR for so long. This is a story of a Cambridge professor and I think this is Cambridge Mass, so a Harvard professor or an MIT professor probably, who one summer has a little affair with one of his students. And this is an elegant and unnerving examination of just how cold and destructive love can be, as Virgo is the only sign in the zodiac that is um, symbolized by a human being, in this case, a woman. I thought that this was an interesting pick for the sign that might spark your interest. After Virgo, we have Libra that is ruled by Venus. And Libra is all about balance. And these people are also really good, I think, at speaking to people. They can be quite charming and have the gift of gab, in my opinion. And for this book, our author is looking at, has put together 50 observations and of different writers, composers, and artists, all like, Soviet time, kind of just looking at the demands of arts and politics on their character. So the 50 people are all categorized into different subsections. We have the poets, the prose writers, the Yiddish poets, Soviet Ukraine, visual artists, and then music theater and dancer. And I feel like this is just a very interesting way to look at the artists and creatives of the time. After Libra, we move on to Scorpio. Scorpio is ruled by the on-again, off-again planet Pluto. and it is a very intense sign. Uh, it rules the areas of like death, sex, psychology. We're going deep. And for that, I chose the book. I chose the book Basic Black by Pearls. This is a book about a Toronto housewife who is having an affair with a guy who I think is a spy and they're meeting all around the world. Tangier, Hong Kong, Rome. And you know, the affair is moving along, it's chugging, it's moving. And then suddenly something goes amiss and our protagonist, this Toronto housewife, has to revisit some of her memories and the sights of her impoverished immigrant childhood. And she's really just discarding her pearls for a more exciting life. I don't know, <laughs> that's all I've got for you. Um, after Scorpio, we move on to Sagittarius. This is a fire sign for this. I chose Life with Picasso. This is by Francois Gillot. So I chose this book as the Sagittarius pick because the author was a Sagittarius. So it seems kind of easy in that regard. And so Francois Gillot, for those of you who might not know, she was involved with Picasso. She met him when he was like 61. She was in her 20s. She had two children with him. And this is her observations on life with him, his thoughts, his habits, whatever it may be. But it's also a look at, you know, her life and what it means to be the muse. Okay, next up, we've got Capricorn. Capricorn is really interesting earth sign to me it is 
it will not to me it actually is the father of the zodiac so we're thinking you know business minded getting things done bit of a loner and for that reason i chose the book I chose a book, My Friends by Emmanuel Bovet. Now, I actually think that this is kind of an unusual book because I don't necessarily think that this protagonist embodies Capricorn qualities, but they are a bit of a loner, so that's why I decided to pick them. This book begins with a line, when I wake up, my mouth is open, my teeth are furry, it would be better to brush them in the evening, but I'm never brave enough. And as the novel progresses, we see this individual all he wants is love, he wants friends, and he is exploring the streets of Paris, looking for them, but unable to find them. And though we do laugh at Victor, that's the name of our protagonist, we also feel for him because he is the everyman. After Capricorn, we've got Aquarius. Aquarius is an air sign. They're an innovator. They're an individual. They're doing their own thing. They're doing their own thing. And for that reason, I chose In the Cafe of Lost Youth by Patrick Modiano. This is a book about 1950s Paris. It's shadowy, it is dark, it is the world of writers, drinkers, criminals, drifters, whatever it may be. And for that reason, I just thought it really suited Aquarius. But not only is it about those individuals, those like characters and types that we come across in society, this book is told in four parts. We have four different narrators and they are all obsessed with Loki who is, um, a youthful young woman who is unable to be who can't be pinned down by these men and i guess in that regards it does kind of remind me of the sound of the fury okay then we got the final sign in the zodiac we got pisces pisces is a water sign the dreamer of the zodiac and i chose victorine by maude hutchins this book is looking at a family life in america we have victorine who is 13 years old she is getting a lot of attention for her body coming into her sexuality. Her brother is quite annoyed from what I can understand by their father-like figure who is a womanizer and their mother is uh, drifting about in a narcotic daze. And I think that this is a story that is exploring sex and society and culture. And I think that if you liked the beasting or like family type stories, maybe this would be for you. But I chose this for Pisces because one, the cover is quite dreamy and that to me is very Pisces and pastel hued but also I think there's something about the language that we use that was used in the summary that just made me think of Pisces we okay that's this little astro book guide for NYRB uh, let me know if this helped you in your book buying Christmas shopping. I hope that it did. And if it didn't, maybe this introduced you to a new book that you might want to check out. And with that, as the light is washing me out, I will see you in the next video.